What's up, Stripe Nation? Blake Alberts here with B&B Lawn Care. I'm gonna have Natalie hold this camera. I have a little rant. It's actually Christmas Day. We're driving to family's houses, so if you're watching this near Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Um, here's what happened last night. I I'm a little flustered, okay? Because last night, somebody broke into our shop and what I mean by that is there's like a few different companies that we all share a space somebody broke in last night broke into a bunch of trailers a bunch of trucks um, and I'm just really flustered it was Christmas Eve night and uh, so I woke up this morning at a, probably like 7 45 8 o'clock and I had some notifications from my camera and I'm like this is weird. And then I had texts from some of the guys up there. And I'm like, this is not gonna be good. Okay, you, there's just, there's things that trigger you and you're like, you know this isn't gonna be good. And so, I look on the camera's very first thing before I even read any text because I just knew exact, I, I'm like, I know exactly what happened. So I look back on the cameras, I see just all night long there were just cars there. There were people there. Um, and I'm like freaking out. I'm like, I gotta get to the bottom of this. So I went to the text and somebody around nine o'clock last night, Christmas Eve night, um, broke in. I mean, they were going, they were tearing apart trailers full of landscaping equipment, um, tearing apart trucks, taking batteries off of trucks, um, catalytic converters off of trucks. Um, just like tons of damage, okay? And, and, and here's what fr freaking frustrates me, okay? These guys up there, these aren't na nationwide companies, okay? These are people like you and me that work every single day to provide for their families, okay? And the equipment that's up there that was getting just absolutely torn apart is how they make money, how they feed their family, their kids, how they put a roof over their family's head. And now that you're twisting a little bit, girly. Thanks. Um, this is how they provide for their families, guys. And somebody, and, and it's even worse on Christmas Eve because they knew that, you know, that, that everybody was gonna be at home with their families trying to, trying to make their kids have a good Christmas like it's just the absolute worst thing so now we all and the, the guys that really got bust like got their stuff busted up spent their whole Christmas e or Christmas morning okay why is it getting dark spent their whole Christmas morning away from their family away from their kids to investigate who just totally ruined their businesses dude like it's just so crazy that things can happen like this guys you have to have your stuff locked up with alarms with cameras but this just shows that no matter how prepared you think you are that things can happen um, and you know, it's just so, it's even worse on Christmas because you know, it's these guys' family, that their families are the ones that get, you know, that, that suffer from this. You know, they don't get to spend their, their Christmas with their dad, you know? And this is, this, I mean, it costs money when things get stolen. Even if you have insurance, I mean, it, it costs money to replace this stuff. Um, and just time, they won't, they won't be able to go to work on Monday, okay? And that's the stuff that really, really frustrates me. So I just thank you for letting me rant for five minutes here, but guys, you need to be prepared. Like, I'm not saying I'm perfect or anything, and I'm very thankful that nothing happened to my stuff last night, to my personal stuff, but it's very freaky when it's literally five feet away from your stuff you know, and you see a guy on camera rummaging through everything, okay? It's freaky. And 
it even it's even freaky at 3 a.m. we had cops shining lights like in my area on my trailers I mean that's scary stuff dude and uh, I don't know man I don't know what I was getting at but but you know there was nothing in my trailers my work trucks not up there um, so we had nothing up there um, you know which is why I'm sure it was nobody cared to get in get into my area but man it is freaky freaky stuff so take care of your equipment take care of your area you know having a clean and tidy area where um, you know equipment's not being shown you like people that walk by can't see equipment um, lock it up the best you can but the absolute best thing there's two best things in these situations is when there is a law an alarm that will get triggered and call the police that is the number one thing because listen they hit us on Christmas Eve late at night where nobody's paying attention to the cameras and all that we're with our families we're trying to make a good Christmas for everybody um, they knew that okay and that's why they did it so an alarm that triggers the police absolutely the number one thing you can put little sensors on the trailer doors on your gate doors whatever a motion sensor if you want that's number one number two is a camera so you know who you know you have some sort of um, I, you know identification of them and I'm, I'm I don't know what we're gonna do up there but I already know that we're we're gonna have to do something and put a camera at the main entrance so we can get everybody's license plates going in and out that's the number one thing so um, take care of your stuff guys it, it happens it, it just happens I, I feel like we hear this every you know six months in the lawn care community that something happens and I mean that that's just what like I don't know like 20 or 30 YouTube guys that like lawn care YouTube guys that make content I know there's a ton more but like what you we really hear about there's probably 20 or 30 of them and I feel like it's every six months we hear they're getting broken into or something so this was this was close to home for me guys like I said literally five feet away from me somebody got busted up you know but busted up busted into man and it's just it's freaky stuff it's it, it feels like somebody is trying to take you down, man. And uh, I don't know. Scary stuff. That's it. Happy holidays. If you guys are watching this um, near Christmas, we're going to try to continue on enjoying our day. But it just really sucks that, that there are people like that in the world that just don't think about these, these guys' families and yeah it's just a truck yeah it's just equipment but it's literally what puts food on these families tables man you know on our families tables so that's it hope you guys have a great rest of your day thanks for watching we'll see you later peace